This is HSK3, lesson number 12, grammar point number 2. We continue studying the particle pa. As a reminder, we studied that this particle emphasizes the object and the action on it. In this type of sentences, the subject loses importance. A simple example here. Pa ni de shu ta kai. The important part in this sentence is ni de shu, your book, and the action on it. Takai to open it. Now we continue getting deeper in the study of this particle pa. This time we use it to express location. This example. Lao shi ba zuo ye fan zai zuo zi shang la. The teacher put the homework on the table. Some examples on it. 我把照片放在你包里了. I put the photo in your bag. 老师把作业放在桌子上了. The teacher put the homework on the table. 我没把裤子放到椅子上. I didn't put the trousers on the chair. I help you to put the clothes in the suitcase. We continue with more examples. 我把鲜花送给老师了。I gave the fresh flowers to the teacher. This time we are using gay to introduce indirect object, 老师。我朋友把书借给我了. My friend let me the book. Didi没把钱还给哥哥. Little brother did it return the money to the older brother. Nibang Take this book to Xiao Kang for me. In these four examples, we have K to introduce the indirect object. So in every sentence, we have two objects. The direct object, after ba particle, and the indirect object, after K verb. So we'll have this structure. Subject, ba particle, object one, direct object, then we have a verb, and then we have K or some other options with the second object, indirect object. Another example. 请你把那个苹果给我. Please give me that apple. Why do we use pa in this type of sentences? If we look at the first sentence, 你给我书, we have two objects together, 我 and 书. So with the use of pa, we clarify the meaning of this sentence. 你把书给我, give me the book. The first sentence wouldn't be correct in Chinese. The second one is correct. Here we have a list of common verbs with two objects. For example, my, we buy something for someone. Son, Juan, my, 借, 介绍. So we will have a direct object and then K introducing the indirect object. Let's practice a little bit. Put the book in your backpack. 把书放在背包里面. He bought flowers for his mother. Put the suitcase anywhere. I lent her the book. 
，我把书借给他了。He locked the animal in the garage. 他把动物关在车库里。I gave him back the money. 我把钱还给他了。Careful with this character. Because it has two pronunciations, Hai and Huang. Here we are using the second one. Remember that Hai means steal, and Huang means to return. Tomorrow, give homework to the teacher. 明天你把作业交给老师。Don't put your hand in your mouth. 别把手放到口里。With all these examples, now we understand much better how to use pa when expressing location.